Assalamualaikum everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Annyeong haseyo. Konnichiwa. Sawadee ha. Mabuhai. Welcome back to Solo Channel. Today we are going to learn Year Five Starter Unit, and we shall continue on Lesson Four, which will be on page seven. To those who are not Year Five students, don't run away, please. Because we are going to learn possessive apostrophe and also asking questions, yes and no. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, before that, the objective of today's lesson would be one, write phrases using possessive apostrophe, and second is write short answers for questions with verb be. Let's begin with the first one. Possessive apostrophe. Possessive apostrophe is to show the possession of someone or something. Possessive apostrophe digunakan untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan, kepunyaan seseorang atau sesuatu benda. Alright, for singular words, we usually add apostrophe s to show the possession. Untuk uh, satu, kita akan tambah apostrophe S untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan. And for plural words, usually they will be S right at the back. So we just write comma, apostrophe di atas. A student, a teacher, singular right? But when there are more than one, we call it students, teachers. Alright, so let's look at the example. This is a ball, this ball belongs to a student. Okay. Kita nak kata bola ini kepunyaan satu murid. So, we call it student apostrophe as ball. Student, koma atas as ball. Student's ball. How about if there are more than one student? So, students, right? For plural. So, students apostrophe ball. Kita hanya perlu tambah koma di atas. Students, koma di atas ball. However, there are exceptional cases where plural words use the rule of singular words. Walau bagaimanapun, terdapat pengecualian yang mana plural words menggunakan hukum singular words, iaitu kita tambah apostrophe s. Okay, let's look at the examples now. Children is the plural of child, right? There is no s, right? Even though it's plural. Because it's special, so we write it children, apostrophe, as ball. Kita guna peraturan untuk singular word. Kita tambah apostrophe, koma atas, as, children's ball. Next example is Ali and Abu. So there's no as right, but Ali and Abu are plural, banyak. So we make it as Ali and Abu, apostrophe, as ball. Contoh kedua adalah Ali dan Abu. Jadi kita tulis Ali dan Abu, koma di atas as ball. Alright, let's proceed to asking questions, yes and no. Before that, I would like to revise this table. Please repeat after me. He is, he isn't, is not. She is, she isn't, she is not. It is, it isn't, it is not. They are, they aren't, they are not. We are, we aren't, we are not. You are, you aren't, you are not. And the last one, I am and I am not. Alright, example. Am I wrong? So you cannot say, yes, I am, no, I am not. Because that will be you ask another person. Am I wrong? Adakah saya salah? So the other person will say, Yes, you are, or no, you are not. Bila anda tanya adakah saya salah, am I wrong, anda tidak boleh kata yes, I am, kerana anda sedang bertanya dengan orang lain. So, orang lain akan jawab, yes, you are, or no, you are not. The next one is, are you at home? You cannot say, yes, you are, or no, you are not, because other person is asking you, so you have to say yes, I am, or no, I am not. Begitu juga dengan soalan kedua, are you at home? Adakah anda berada di rumah? Orang lain sedang tanya anda, jadi anda perlu jawab yes, I am, or no, I am not. And the last question is, is my book with you? So the answer will be yes, it is, or no, it is not. 
Alright, let's do the exercises together. Mari kita buat latihan bersama-sama. In this exercise, you have to look at the examples and complete the rules with singular and plural. Alright, number one, we use apostrophe S for possession with, you should write, yeah, singular or plural. And the second one, we use S apostrophe for possession with, you should write singular or plural words. Alright, let's proceed to the next one. You have to write phrases using the possessive apostrophe. Untuk latihan nombor dua, anda harus tulis semula ayat pendek tersebut dan letakkan koma S atau S koma untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan. You can pause the video to do your exercise. Anda boleh berhentikan video ini seketika untuk menjawab soalan. Let's check the answers together. Mari kita semak jawapan bersama-sama. Okay, rules. One, we use apostrophe S for possession with. The answer is singular words. And number two, we use S apostrophe for possessions with plural words. Okay, look at number two. Harry and pens. So it should be Harry apostrophe S pens. Number two, my mom and my dad. Photos. So you should write my mom and my dad apostrophe as photos. The third one, the teachers, plural, right? So you should write the teachers apostrophe names. And the last one, Eva. Eva is singular, right? One person. So Eva apostrophe as notebook. Let's proceed to the next exercise. In this exercise, you have to read the dialogue and circle the correct answers. Dalam latihan ini, anda perlu baca dialog tersebut dan bulatkan jawapan yang betul for 1, 2 and 3. Have you finished? Let's check the answers together. 1. Charlie's mom is at home. And 2. Her laptop is in the drawer. And 3. Her speakers are in Charlie's room. Well done everyone. Let's proceed to the next exercise. In this exercise, you have to fill in the blanks. Example, am I? And the short answers will be yes, I am. And no, I am not. Alright, you can try now. Let's check the answers if you have finished. Am I? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Alright, since he, she and it is singular, so you should write is. Is he, is she, is it. And the answer is yes, it is. No, it isn't. And for... The last one, you, we, and they are plural, so you should write are in front of them. And the answers would be yes, they are, no, they are not. Alright, this is the last exercise. In this exercise, you have to complete the questions and write short answers that are true for you. Dalam latihan ini, anda perlu mengisi tempat kosong dan menjawab soalan berkenaan dengan diri anda sendiri. Example, okay, number one. You. So we use are. Are you good at skateboarding? If yes, then you should write yes, I am. If no, you should write no, I am not. Okay, you can check the answers. Anda boleh semak jawapan sekarang. Number two, is. Is your notebook on your desk? If yes, yes it is. If no, no it is not. Number three, your mom and dad are plural. So you should write are your mom and dad at work? If yes, you should write yes, they are. If not, you should write no, they are not. Number four, are we at home? And the answer, if yes, yes, we are. If no, no, we are not. And the last one, the teacher. The teacher is singular. So we use, is the teacher in class? If yes, yes, he is. If your teacher is a guy. If no, no, he is not. If your teacher is a lady, Female, so you should write, yes, she is, and if no, no, she is not. Alright, everyone, I hope that you have lots of fun learning English with me today, and stay tuned for the next video. Annyeong, bye, see you soon.